off the coast of Sendai in northern Japan, a succession of extraordinary waves, some said to be 10 metres high, accelerate towards the shoreline. The menacing band of white bears down on the land. Striking land, the massive surge turns into a black wall of water, unstoppable by man-made structures. Houses and barns are consumed, vehicles lifted up and carried away. Despite a tsunami warning, many are caught out. To the right of screen, some motorists drive away, but others on the highway seem unaware of what's approaching across the field and have little chance of escaping it. Water pours over the elevated section and they become part of the debris. A swirling kaleidoscope of broken buildings and floating cars. These images clearly capture the power of the tsunami, but from above it's hard to calculate how many people are caught up in it. Only those on elevated land could possibly avoid it. And as it continued to move further inland, it still had the power to carve its own path and continue to carry tons of wreckage. Even a huge trawler rides in land. In an instant, normal life is invaded by a sea of chaos. Gas and electrical faults caused by the earthquake set off fires. And as the debris is piled high, the flames ride on the water as it presses forwards on its relentless journey of destruction. It creates an apocalyptic scene across swathes of land. Right of screen, a vehicle can be seen trying to speed away from the wall of water, but is trapped. Further right, a dot of a person can be seen trying to outrun the wave. The pictures don't show whether they made it. This footage, filmed from a hilltop, shows the tsunami's terrifying power. An entire town is being turned to rubble. There's been many people who went missing. Back out at sea, some boats try to ride the waves. Also in Nihonfunato city, Matsuzaki towns. Here, a craft is at the mercy of a massive whirlpool. At Sendai Airport, this was the view from the terminal as the wave enveloped its runway. would-be passengers sought refuge on the roof.
In Kamaishi, northeast of Sendai, there were similar scenes. A cascade of bobbing cars. The destruction is plain to see, but it will take time to calculate the loss of life. Early indications suggest this tsunami has taken a heavy toll. So far, authorities say several hundred bodies have been found along the coastline. Once the water settled, it became clear most of the 1,200 homes in the rural area had been hit by the wave. Clearly, many people are now trapped in their homes. An unknown quantity may be injured and desperate for help. But the armed forces say 60 to 70,000 people in Sendai have been evacuated to shelters. In minutes, it seems, hundreds of lives have been taken homes destroyed and a whole region churned up by a force of nature. Jason Farrell, Sky News.